What is up guys, Swifty here again with another tutorial. Um, this is only going to be a quick one, it's nice and easy. Well I'm just going to be showing you the screen, like the screen pulse effect where it goes in and out on a beat. Yeah so just imagine I've got some track down the bottom. Um, yeah so say there was a beat around let's say here. I What I do is I'd mark it with by pressing M to so leave a little marker. Then I'd go to the next beat, say it was here, sorry, there, and then the next one was here, and then the, the next beat was here, and the next one was here. Then what I'd do is I'd go and split the clip at each mark, like so. Then what I'd do is leave this clip would be left, then I would go to this one at the start. I would drag it in as far as just do it as far as you want to. Maybe you could put some little turns on it like that. And then I would drag this back to the end and then put it back to default. So that see it there. Let's watch that. See it pulse in there. So yeah, then what I'd do is I'd copy that clip, hold, press this clip, click shift, and then click the end clip where the pulse is going to stop. Then right click, paste event attributes. So that I'd put the pulse on every clip after that. So let's see that then. So I just let it pre-render. Okay, okay, so that let's see what this looks like. I okay, see pulses there, 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 um, there, and here. So that is just simple pulse effect. Um, yeah, it doesn't take that long to do, very easy way to do it. Okay. Okay guys, um, that is basically the tutorial, just PM me with other like suggestions on what you want me to do and I will hopefully be able to do it for you. Thanks guys, see you later.